everybody, Kirsten here, and I have a book talk for you today. I'm going to be talking about the adult thriller, The Good Girl by Mary Kubica, and I absolutely freaking loved this book. Absolutely 100% love this book. If you watched my book haul video that I uploaded a few days ago, I even probably said, holy crap, I love this book quite a few times, exclaimed it, because holy crap, I loved this book. Now, before going into this, I want to say that if you are going to read this book and think it's going to be the next Gone Girl, put it down, because that's not what you're going to get. You're not going to get the next Gone Girl, because there is never going to be another Amy Dunn, and if they ever do another Amy Dunn, they're going to always do it poorly, because nothing will ever be as good as Gillian Flynn's Amy Dunn. Now that that is out of the way, let me just talk about all the reasons why I freaking love this book. Now, there are four points of narration in this book. There is Mia, who is our protagonist. There is Eve, who is her mother. And there's Colin Thatcher, who is the kidnapper. And then there is the detective. And they are all told from those four points of view. Now, with those, in those four points of view, there are two points in time that this narration takes place. Now, it takes place in the past, which involves the kidnapping, pre-kidnapping, kidnapping, duration of the kidnapping experience, and then you have the present, which takes place after she gets rescued from the kidnapping, and then her trying to get her memories back, and then obviously the final end of the book. That almighty happy resolution at the end of this book. I have a hard time reading adult thrillers. I really do. I I like them, but they're not quite my cup of tea. So this was kind of a good book to get into if you aren't quite into those kinds of books. I have anxiety and holy crap, adult thrillers kind of kick that anxiety up a few notches. So I tend to stay away from them. I, however, have been getting into more adult fiction lately. I've always read adult fiction, and I just feel like I've been focusing so much on the YA for this channel and for my book blog but I just kind of wanted to get out of my normal YA and a world that I've been in. So I'm really glad that I saw this book on sale, picked it up and decided to read it. Now this is your quintessential kidnapping book. Let me tell you, if there's any kind of stereotypical kidnapping book, this is probably it. You've got rich daddy, who's a judge. You got mom, homemaker, Hasn't done anything with her life besides raise kids. You have the so tortured kidnapper who really isn't that bad of a guy but got put into some bad situations. You have Mia, our protagonist, who is the black sheep of the family because she didn't want to follow in her father's footsteps and go to law school. Instead, she wanted to be an art teacher. And then you have her older sister who is following in her daddy's footsteps and kind of just is everything that um, her father wanted Mia to be. Now that you know kind of like the breakdown of the characters, in the same exact way it is kind of a stereotypical kidnapping book, you have the young man who is paid by some mob boss to kidnap Mia and to hold her for ransom for her dad. And kind of happens he's just like man she's too nice kind of attracted to her kind of don't want her to die so I'm gonna take her to a cabin in the woods <laughs> because that seems like a jolly good idea but hey whatever works he thinks it's a good idea so he takes her out there in the dual perspective it's kind of interesting because the person that you're reading about, this Mia that you're reading about in the past isn't the same Mia that you're reading about in the present because the Mia in the present does suffer from amnesia and I promise that is not a spoiler because they do talk about that in the first couple chapters of the book and it's even kind of like in the description of the book. Um, but she does suffer from amnesia so the present is her remembering what happened in that cabin in the woods. And so each chapter kind of corresponds with her kind of remembering a little bit. So that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love the book because you'd get like a little breadcrumb of well, what is she remembering? And then you get a chapter and it'll give you like a little tidbit of it, but not quite all of it. So you just want to keep remember like reading so you can like help her remember and you get excited about her remembering what happened. But in the same aspect, you're just kind of like, holy shit, there's some like weird stuff going on. And there is, there's a lot of twists and turns in this book. This book did not leave me with a dull moment. And that's one of the things that I suffer with 
especially with adult fiction, is it can get kind of dull. They have lulls in conversation, things get really monotonous, but this book didn't have that. And it just keeps you going, keeps you going until that very big twist at the end and you're like, holy crap, I did not see that coming. I know some people might think it's predictable, but I didn't see it coming at all completely. I was just like, oh, well crap. Definitely not the person I thought she was. It's so good, you definitely should read this if you haven't read it yet. It is The Good Girl by Mary Kubica, and you definitely need to pick this up. Read it, read it, read it, and tell me what you think about it. If there are some adult thrillers that you would like me to talk about, or that you would like me to read, or if you just want to give me recommendations, because I'm always down for some book recommendations, that kind of have the same premise, go ahead and leave me a comment below and tell me about those books. If you have read this book, leave a comment below and tell me what you think about it, so we can talk about it. Because I, I want to talk more about it, but I don't want to give spoilers away in the video, because that would just be mean to everybody, because I've done that in the past, and it makes me feel really bad. So definitely, please leave comments below. Tell me what you think about this book so we can have a discussion about it. It's super good. I absolutely love it. Go out and buy it. Do it. Do it. Promise you won't be disappointed. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.